Quite a few of you have asked me to do a little bit more PC gaming videos and kind of console mixed together. Well, I'm not a console gamer, despite what a lot of people might think. I'm an all-round gamer. I play them on my PC, my phone, my handheld devices, and also consoles. So it doesn't really matter to me what I play as long as I can get games working on it and have a good time playing it. So what can you do with a laptop that you may have picked up at Goodwill under 50 bucks from about 10 years ago. Enter an HP Mini. These miniaturized computers are very good for web surfing, browsing the internet, and doing mundane tasks like word processing. Even though they're good at doing that, you would never want to do that stuff on this computer because of how small the screen itself is and because of how difficult it would be to type on it. It gets the job done if you're in a kind of situation where you can't really use anything else, um, but you definitely won't be giving up your mechanical keyboard for it or your high resolution screens of today for it. It runs Windows XP and it's a pretty light variant on the Windows XP take as well. Windows XP doesn't really take that much RAM anyways. It's recommended that you have at least 512 megabytes, but I remember back in the day system squeezing by with 256 before. This system itself has a gig or two dedicated to the RAM and that's really all you need, especially if you're not multitasking. But really, what is this system for? Well, well, of course, emulation and gaming, as I said in the beginning and as you're seeing in the background. While this has absolutely no dedicated video and the Intel integrated graphics chip is laughable at best, it can still play a game. What games would you be able to play on a laptop that costs you less than $50? Well, emulators. And this is the type of laptop that you don't have to sit there and finagle with Linux over. Yes, Linux might give this laptop a new lease on life, but leaving Windows XP on on it will allow you to install emulators very easily on it. Still use your word processors from the XP days, still allow you to use the internet if you need it in a pinch, and that's about all you're going to be doing on this computer anyways. So if you were looking to learn an older system and looking to learn how to use emulators and ROMs properly and configure them, then this would be an ideal computer for you. You can find these things on eBay, but they might not be less than $50. I found mine at a Goodwill, and with my military discount, I was able to get it for about $44. That is a steal. They said that the Wi-Fi card was not working in it, and hey, that's all the better. The less internet access this laptop has, the better, because it's an old XP, and XP is basically a screen door for viruses and adware right now because it's such an old system. I'm not saying that you can't manage to use XP effectively and run emulators and ROMs on it, but I'm just saying that there's newer operating systems that work a lot better at protecting you from going online. So if the Wi-Fi card doesn't work in it, then that suits me just fine. Allow me to put emulators on it and play video games. My daughter seems to enjoy this laptop as well and playing older systems like the Super Nintendo the NES and the Sega Genesis. This will emulate pretty much everything up to the N64 and PlayStation. If you go past that or try to play some demanding N64 or PlayStation games, you're really pushing the system itself, but it does produce 60 FPS at a decent resolution for the time. These were during the days where cathode ray curved TVs and RCA jacks were the in thing. 360p and 480i were the best resolutions you were hoping for, and TVs that could do any Anything more, flat screens, big projectors, those were the top tier best of the best and cost thousands. So yeah, a laptop like this playing older game systems like that will make them look beautiful and they will run like a champ because once again, this is during the times of Pentium 1s and Pentium 2s. So this computer has the graphical processing and computing power of probably a thousand times that. I don't do math that well when it comes to comparing processor speeds, but it is extremely extremely fast compared to an old Pentium 1 or Pentium 2 computer. And if those computers can emulate games, then this laptop can too. And it does a great job doing so. All you need is a USB controller and you're good to go. Whether you choose that to be an NES controller 
or an SNES controller or a good old Xbox 360 or even maybe an Xbox One, it'll work. You might also want a flash drive. In my case, since the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can't really download the ROMs and the emulators on there, but I wouldn't do that anyways. Again, you have Windows XP. Unless you want a very old version of something that would prevent the viruses that you are inevitably going to get, it's very difficult. And websites where you download things are ripe with adware. You never know what you're going to get on the internet, so it's better for you to download it to a computer that is more protected nowadays, scan it, and then make sure it's A-OK -okay to go on your old w Windows XP machine. So if you're looking to do something like this, again, you can find these types of laptops on eBay. And it doesn't have to be an HP Mini. It can be almost any netbook from back in the day because they all ran Windows XP. Some of them ran Windows Vista, which was ridiculous. Some of them ran Windows 7 Basic or Starter Edition, which will work but again it's a little bit more resource heavy so you really do want to find a windows xp system and you can find these things on the cheap a lot of places sell thinkpads for less than a hundred dollars as well and that's a workable solution as well and probably a lot better of an experience typing and visually speaking because it's a little bit bigger but again all you need is a usb and a usb powered controller as well just for transferring data and control so yeah playing games is not the most fun on the keyboard just buy yourself a ten dollar controller ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed my overview of this hp mini it is good for nothing other than emulation and gaming take your chances on the internet if you want to with it i personally wouldn't please like and share this video with everyone you know hope you guys enjoyed it once again i've been your host Pedro mario i'm signing out as always good gaming god bless and thank you for taking the time out to watch this video